welcome to the studio. So today I'm on a quest to do some blue and white paintings. I have this Amsterdam feeling. Usually at this time of the year I'm traveling to see the tulips in Amsterdam and I'm not able to do that this year because it's 2020 when I'm making this video. So um, I'm going to mix up my glue all mixture for my flow medium with this painting. It's 70% glue all. 30% water mixed with craft paints so that I can do this painting. You could do this at home if you have glue, water and paint and paper or canvas. All right, let's try it. If you've watched one of my latest videos, you'll see that I just did a blue Delft looking balloon kiss. And now I'm thinking I'm going to do one that has blue background, white on it, and blue and gold so now this is the art deco extreme sheen in let's see deep sapphire i'm really going to use this as my background and i have a basic craft white and I have Palmer paints in gold and Palmer paints, a mixture that kind of looks like a cobalt blue. So we'll see how those work. Now, all of these paints are mixed with a 70% glue, 30% water mixture. Now the Art Deco doesn't quite like that mixture as well as the others, but it is doing just fine. So I'm actually going to pause this so I can put this on with some paint brushes because I do want it as spread out as possible, especially around the edges because I have a white canvas and it's blue. So Okay, that looks good. I think that we've covered all the sides. Now with a balloon dip painting, it's really kind of easy. I'm going to put some puddles of white. Now white's going to be my basic color coming out in my paint. The blue will be a background and hopefully this will be a nice accent piece to the one I just did. Let me let that puddle settle for a minute and I'll show you the one I just did is <clears throat> it is a nice beautiful painting it's all blue and white, but with the white as the background. see how it comes out all right so let's pick a dot and you push in I'm not pushing too hard I'm just pressing down on the balloon and bringing it back up do you see that now if I like the pattern that's there I'll put it in another spot and do the same thing and I can keep going or I can wipe it off and go for another pattern. Now I always like to keep my trash can close by. Things can get messy around here, especially with this kind of process. Look at that, how beautiful. Hmm, I really want that one. Now the white that's on here is going to give me some lacing. It is not metallic, but it was actually mixed a little bit thin because I the first thing that I did was mix it for my background. Now do you see how there's circles here? Some people love those circles and want to keep those. I like to make them go away. I like it to be a flowing pattern and not one that is circular. 
Now another method is you can take your paint and you can roll it or slide it. See how that goes? Some people like that. Mm, I like that. I like that. I think I'm going to do one more dip in this one. It's getting kind of a puddle. don't think I love it as well as the other one, but it is very nice. I like pulling um, off some paint sometimes. When there's a lot of paint on your canvas, it just kind of blends. Don't always like that. Get another paper towel. This is looking nice. But I'm wondering how it's going to dry, so I'm going to push into it again. Woohoo! Like that. Just touch my. Through to the other one. I think that one turned in turned out very nice. I do have a little bit of a circle going on with a couple of them, but that's okay. Lots of lacing because I put the white on the top of this one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this.